good morning my dear children today we are going to learn about the inosilicates okay now we are discussing about the silicate am i right about the types of silicate orthosilicate sorosilicate and cyclic silicate as today we learn today the remaining silicate which are the remaining silicate means cyclic silicate and double chain silicate and one more silicate about the sheet or pilo silicate and tecto silicate there is a three dimensional silicate and one of the very important question what are zeolite and what are the uses of zeolite okay so you have to learn one by one and for this area you have to concentrate more about the diagram only about the diagram and about the which um, which silicate unit having the particular type and about the example what is about the example and their formula you have to concentrate that is enough okay for the examination point of view so try to learn thoroughly about the structure structure is very simple you can draw the structure it's a very very simple structure uh, don't forget to learn about the uh, examples okay please all of you take the note we can be discuss one by one you know silicate silicate which contains n number of silicate units linked by sharing two or more oxygen atom here one of the unit silicate units that is n number n may be 1 or 2 or 3 or 5 like that n numbers number of silicates okay n number of silicate units linked by sharing two or more oxygen atom are called inosilicate okay they are again divided into chain silicate and double chain silicate what is about the chain silicate that means otherwise we can be say pyroxene that is this type of the silicate containing don't forget the formula SiO3 n times okay SiO3 n times and 2n minus ion these ions are formed by linking of n number of tetrahedral SiO4 4 minus units linearly okay this is not a cyclically am i right this type of the silicates are joining or linking joining or linking n number of tetrahedral SiO4 4 minus units they are joining linearly okay this type of an arrangement is is linearly okay anyhow we are saying the chain silicate otherwise what is another name pyroxene here in the ions one of an ions that is a silicate one of the silicate containing ions that is SiO3 n times hold you 2n minus ion these are forming how they are forming by the linking of n number of tetrahedral SiO4 4 minus units linearly so anyhow two or more two or more SiO4 minus ion joining linearly we get one of the silicate that which is silicate means chain silicate okay here one of the example spodimine spodimine means the formula uh, Li Al SiO3 twice spodimine okay Spodimine, don't forget that. So try to uh, understand the which silicate having. Okay, it is the arrangement. You have to learn it and you have to draw the stru uh, structure of chain silicate. Okay. First, you make it on a stra straight line like that. Here, make it on point like that. Make it on triangle like that. Okay. Next one. Just opposite. Make it on triangle like that. Okay. Next.
Next again, down. Next again, up. Etc. Okay. This is the structure of chain silicate. Don't forget the formula. Don't forget the uh, example. Example and example formula and structure. Next about double chain silicate. So one of the two more question. Sorry, uh, two more question. Ambi balls. What are ambi balls like? That? The question may be asked. Okay. One of the important question. This silicates contain SI4 O11 N times 6 N minus. One of the silicate ions, one of the silicate ions contain, what is the formula here? SI4 O11 into N 6 minus. One of the ions. Here, there are two types of tetrahedra, two types. One is three vertices and other one is about the three vertices, three vertices and two vertices, okay? One is about the sharing three vertices and other one is sharing only two vertices. Here, one of the cyclic silicate joined to other that containing one or more cyclic chain one or more cyclic chain that is we are saying about that double chain silicate here we are taking one of an aspatose aspatose means all of you know that one aspatose sheet one of the sheet um, that is it contains uh, fibrous and non-combustible silicate these are some of the fibrous and non-combustible silicate. For what purpose the aspatose nowadays are using means uh, used for the thermal insulating materials, brake lining construction materials and the filters. Next we can be draw. Draw the structure of double chain silicate. First to make it one. Just like on six member ring. Here make it on triangle. 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 Here also make it on triangle. Okay, then you are in the oxygen atom like that. You have an oxygen like that. You also make it like that. Okay, and again you have to continue like that here. Here we make it on ring like that, one triangle. One triangle here also like that. Can you draw? I think this is very easy. Am I right? Again, you are make it like that here. Here on triangle like that. Now the structure is ready, okay, right? Okay. So, second or next one is about that. Sheet or pilosilicate. Sheet silicate are the pilosilicate. Here. This here the silicate units contain more than two chain. Okay, more than two chain is called sheet silicate, more than two chain. The silicate which containing, what is a unit means, SI2O5N, 2N minus ions are called it sheet or pilosilicate. Here also same like that, 
HSiO4 minus ion tetrahedral hedron unit shade. Here three oxygen atom with two other and thus they are forming two dimensional sheet. This is about the two dimensional sheet. This sheet that means this silicate sheet form layered structure. Okay, here have some layer, have some layer, layered structure. And the silicate sheet are stacked over each other. That is, have some, uh, some arrangement, making some arrangement like that. Here, one of the important point is, the attractive force between these layers, there are different layers, number of, number of, number of layers that are arranged in such a way like that. They are very weak. These layers are very weak. And they can be cleaved easily just like graphite. Example, talc, mica, a sheet silicate. Next, next letter is about TM, right? So we can be remember that one. Uh, yes means sheet. Example means start with T, T A L C, talc, okay? Next about, we can be draw the structure of sheet or pilosilicate. Draw the structure of sheet or pilosilicate. First, make it one six member ring. That is your wish, okay? Make it like that. A small six member ring, okay? Then you have to make it a small triangle like that. See, so very easy, am I right? Next, again, you have to start here. Make a six member, make a triangle, okay, again I'll show you how to make such a way one of the ring, okay, clear, first one make a Next, below, one second we are making, one benzene ring like that, sorry, one a six member ring like that, here also make it one triangle like that. Next, here can, we can be joined like that. We can be joined here. Make it a triangle. Again, we can be joined here. Yeah. Again, also make it here. This is about the sheet and our pilo silicate. So the inner side also you have to make it like that. Join. Join like that. Is it easy? Am I right? Is it easy? If you are taking return practice enough, within the five minutes we can be learn all the diagram. Only five minutes is enough. Kindly take return practice, okay?
ओके नेक्स्ट अबाउट नाउ वी लर्न अबाउट द थ्री डायमेंशनल शीट नेक्स्ट अगेन यू हैव टू लर्न अबाउट द थ्री डायमेंशनल शीट थ्री मीन्स टेक्टोसिलिकेट दे आर दिस टाइप ऑफ द सिलिकेट्स आर फॉर्म्ड थ्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क दैट इज वन साइड वी कैन बी एक्स एक्सिस अदर ऑन इज वही एस एक्सिस एंड अदर ऑन इज एन इज एक्सिस आई एम राइट there are three dimensional we are drawing such a way like that but our textbook not having any diagram so try to learn this question okay silicate uh, in which all the oxygen atom of that is sio4 4 minus tetrahedra are shared with other tetrahedra one of the tetrahedra units are Arrange or uh, sharing to other tetra tetra of SiO four four minus ions to form three axes. That is a three dimensional network are called three dimensional silicate. Otherwise, we can be say tecto silicates. So, what is the general formula? That is SiO two n times. Okay, SiO two. n types that we have to learn about that that the quartz okay quartz and other having tecto silicates one of the point here having can be converted into three dimensional alumino silicates by replacing SiO4 4 minus units by Al O4 five times units Examples: feldspar. Other one is about that is zeolite. Okay, zeolite is a another one example. So this area, we learned that some of the important points. That means about uh, you know silicate, you know silicate. That means about n number of silicate units. Uh, n number, okay. N number of silicate units linked by sharing two or more oxygen atom. Sharing two or more oxygen atom. Uh, that the one one of the silicate units is surrounded by some oxygen atom. Am I right? So one or more oxygen atom is sharing. That we are saying, you know, silicate. They are classified into chain silicate and one double chain double chain silicate. First, you have to thorough the structure. Okay, how to thorough the structure? It's very easy structure. Am I right? Very easy. Don't forget. Uh, double chain means you have only one one row like that, and that means about the. They are having one another one example having about the st structure of sheet of pilo silicate means you have to two arrangement like that okay next one what are zeolites a very important three mark question zeolite what are zeolites don't forget that the zeolite is one of the three dimensional crystalline structure. What is about the zeolite? It is a. It have a three-dimensional crystalline structure. Looks like a honeycomb. Okay, one of the honeycomb. All of you know that one. And of a network of interconnected tunnels and cage. Uh, tunnels. Tunnels. Ne. You know that one. That's a one underground pa passage. I'm right. Underground, underground passage. We we are saying it's a channel. We are saying. Anyhow, what is the use of zeolites? What are the use? That is <laughs> the removal of permanent hardness of water. That water having some hardness. I'm right. Water have some hard ions. Removing. We have to remove that one. Purification. We can be say some purification of water like that. Am I right? Here, 
zeolite means they have a general formula what is the formula na2o sodium na2o sodium oxide like that aluminum oxide al2o3 x moles of sio2 y moles of water this is the formula of zeolite can you understand so the zeolites are the three dimensional crystalline solid one of the three dimensional crystalline solid containing aluminum silicon and oxygen in a three dimensional network am i right this can be say zeolites are hydrated sodium aluminosilicates the zeolites are hydrated sodium aluminosilicates the zeolites have a general formula what of the general formula what is the formula here na2o Al2O3, X molecules of SiO2, and Y molecules of moisture water. Here we are using SiO2, X moles of SiO2. Here X is equal to number two, number two. to number 10 what is about the y molecules of water that also 2 to 6 okay don't forget that the formula try to learn the formula correctly next zeolite have porous structure porous what is the meaning of porous porous means we are saying some pores pores means some minute holes okay holes here a zeolite is a monovalent sodium ion so monovalent i previously i told that monovalent i'm right the sodium potassium these are all what monovalent ions so already zeolite having sodium which which is the monovalent sodium ions and water molecules here having some water molecules how much water molecules here having why h2 am i right here the monovalent sodium ions and water molecules are loosely held loosely held so try to understand the concept here what is the structure about that zeolite having for a structure in which the zeolite having some monovalent sodium ions and also y molecules of water molecules these are loosely held loosely held and also zeolite having silicon and also aluminum atom this silicons and aluminum atoms are tetrahedrally coordinated okay they are tetrahedrally that is silicon atom and the aluminum atoms are tetrahedrally coordinated with each other by means of an oxygen atom okay they are the connecting joinies we know that on oxygen atom, atom is joining that is coordinated with each other through uh, sharing of oxygen atom and one more important point is zeolites are similar to clay materials we know about the clay materials am i right so zeolites are similar to the clay materials but only one differ what is the differ means in their crystalline structure the crystalline structure is entirely different it is almost similar to zeolites are almost 
similar to clay materials that we can be say zeolites are similar to clay materials okay sorry clay minerals then one more point about that a zeolites have a three dimensional crystalline structure how much dimensional three dimensional crystalline structure looks like a honeycomb okay previously i told that this zeolite have a three dimensional crystalline structure looks like a honeycombs okay consists of a network of interconnected tunnels and cage here one of the important points previously i told that zeolites have a porous structure they are having the monovalent sodium ions one of the monovalent sodium ions and also water molecules are loosely held here also we are saying water mo water, water molecules moves freely in and out what is the reason in and out means it must contain what a porous structure am i right see you let have which structure porous structure so here the water already they have why molecules of why uh, water molecules having am i right so having some water molecules having some moisture this water molecule is moving freely in and out through this pores but see all the framework remain rigid so the last one more point you have to learn thoroughly dear children what is the important points usage advantage zeolite means the removal of permanent hardness of water during sorry by using zeolite okay this are the area we covered well, dear children so today we discussed that which are the area we discussed today that is a you know silicate chain sil that is a three classification chain silicate double chain silicate what is the chain silicate other name what is the example what is the example formula li al SiO3 twice spodimen okay double chain silicate and before okay and be bolts don't forget that what is the formula here si4 o11 n then 6 minus ions these are the silicate contains si4 o11 n times 6 n minus ions okay don't forget that next about that you have to write a few points about the aspectos aspectos one of the non fibrous and non combustible silicate okay sorry these are fibrous fibrous and non combustible silicate so what is the application means used for thermal insulation material don't forget that thermal insulation material construction materials etc am i right you have to write need to example next about that pilo silicate sheet silicate this are the silicate containing si2 o5 n 2n minus ion here each sio4 4 minus one of the tetrahedral units here sharing takes place they are shared by three oxygen atom the diagram try to understand they have three oxygen atom they are sharing and thus they are forming two dimensional sheet this silicate this sheet silicates are which structure pilo silicate uh, 
layered structure they have some arrangement making some arrangement Arra arrangement having some small attractive force they are very weak okay next about the example don't forget the example talk okay so then you have today i'm giving the assignment what is assignment means you write a short note on co light write a short note on co lights and write about inosilicates write about inosilicate the two question how to learn and write okay thank you all of you thank you have a nice day